I'm not happy about it at all. Um, none of my family or friends are either. Uh, it seems it's been driven by a certain part of England which doesn't represent the Scottish view and yeah we're not happy at all about it. Um, terrible decision. Come out Barcelona, in Catalan, the Briten have sich gegen the EU entschieden. Uh, sie haben sich entschieden. Andere dürfen sich nicht entscheiden. Das war's. Ja, also sie haben sich wahrscheinlich deswegen dagegen entschieden, weil sie die EU als undemokratisch empfinden. Nach den vielen Jahren der, äh, der restriktiven Maßnahmen und äh, ja, dem, dem griechischen Fall, äh, die mediterranen Staaten an sich, die äh, jetzt äh, unter einem Diktat der, der Sparmaßnahmen äh, stehen und die Troika, die... Äh, entgegen jeglicher demokratischer Kontrolle in, entscheidet, was sie für richtig und was sie für falsch halten. Wird Europa sich verändern? Ganz klar. Ein großer Teil Europas fehlt jetzt. UK is out of Europe. I think it's unfortunate. I think uh, I think it's a decision that reflects a lot of sentiment that um, people are feeling things really extremely right now, and I think it's been recently that case because of everything that's going on in, in the EU and around the world. But honestly, I think that it's going to be a case of of, uh, of wishing that they could take it back not too long from now. What about the future in Europe? Well, it's hard to say. Um, I think that the UK has always been a little bit more separate, obviously, geographically from the continent. And for that reason, it's easy for me at least to imagine that Europe can go on without the UK and without fracturing anymore despite the UK leaving.